Good, better, or best? Bad, worse, or worst? Which ones should you use? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my uploads, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, pag-uusapan natin yung good, better, best, bad, worst, worst, kailan sila ginagamit. At uh, medyo, uh, ano na rin to eh, nasa lines ng ating discussion on comparatives and superlatives. Kaya lang, mas hihimayin natin since marami sa inyong nag-request sa TikTok at dito rin sa YouTube. If you haven't seen your series ng comparatives and superlatives, you can click right here sa i-button if you're watching this on YouTube. So you can catch up, tapos balikan nyo na lang tong discussion na ito. Okay? And uh, just a quick little plug, if you want to get the hoodie just like this, you never stop learning natin, or yung iba pang mga designs available on the shop, you can go to shop.teamlaika.com. Uh, that helps support our channel and our cost to democratize education in the Philippines. So maraming salamat sa inyo for supporting our merch. Malaking tulong, lalo na sa panahon ngayon. So thank you for helping me help more people through this channel. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can explain this better. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so ito yung lecture natin on good, better, best, at bad, worst, worst. Uh, I-emphasize ko lang din na meron na tayong full discussion on superlatives and comparatives. Meron ng entire playlist niyan. If you haven't seen the other videos nung sa series yet, ililink ko na lang din dito sa taas, okay, sa playlist na yan. Pero ngayon, mag-dive tayo into this kasi I still get a lot of requests pagdating sa good, better, best, at bad, worst, worst. And I think may clue ako kung saan nanggagaling yung confusion at yun yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon, okay? Let's start muna with yung first set. We have yung good, uh, which is something like this. Kung sasabihin natin na The Avengers was good, ibig sabihin yung movie na Avengers, nagustuhan ko siya, maganda siya, it's good. Now, kapag may improvement or kapag may mas maganda kaysa sa kanya, we use the word better. Kaya nga yung better is yung comparative. Ang ibig sabihin ng comparative, when you're comparing two things, siya na yung mas nakakaangat. So, ibig sabihin nun, if I say na Avengers Age of Ultron was better, ang ibig sabihin nun, comparing two things, which is una, yung Avengers, at yung pangalawa would be yung Avengers Age of Ultron, pangalawang movie na yan. Sa kanilang dalawa, mas lamang yung Age of Ultron. So again, comparative, so may dalawa kang compare Now, yung best naman, ginagamit natin siya if ang pinag-uusapan na ay siya yung pinaka. Okay? So again, ang good is maganda, ang better mas maganda, ang pinaka maganda ay best. So if we say na Avengers Endgame was the best, Okay, ibig sabihin sa kanilang tatlo or sa lahat, kahit dun sa mga hindi na-mention, siya yung pinakamaganda. Now, you can agree to disagree with me when it comes to the statements, no? Hindi yung Avengers na pinag-uusapan natin ngayon. Ang pinag-uusapan natin ay yung mga words na ito. So, again, good pag maganda, better pag mas maganda, best pag pinakamaganda. Now, sa nanggagaling yung confusion? Uh, I feel na nanggagaling yung confusion dun sa term na, or sa word na better. Kasi sometimes, hindi naman obvious na may pinagkukumparahan sa kanila. So again, titingnan natin yung pwede niyang gamit. Una, when you're comparing two things. So again, sa comparison ng dalawang bagay, ito yung mas nakaangat. So, yun yung better. Pero ginagamit din natin yung word na better kung may improvement sa state ng isang tao, ng isang bagay. Okay? So if someone is doing better, ibig sabihin, dati, Diba? Meron siyang kalagayan dati, ngayon, mas maigi yung kalagayan niya ngayon kaysa noon. So, if we take a sentence like this, sab sabi niya, I felt blank after taking a social media break. Okay? So, I felt what? You felt better. Now, if you notice, wala namang sinabi or walang pinagkumparahan. Walang sinabing, I felt better uh, than yesterday or anything. Pero dahil ang pinag-uusapan dito is improvement sa kanyang pakiramdam, doon sa dati hanggang ngayon, you can still say better. Okay? Parang may invisible dyan na nakalagay na I felt better than I did before. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pag may improvement, may progress, pwede mong gamitin yung better. Okay? It was better. It was better than before or generally, I felt better. Pwede yon. Okay? Now, same din yung case for the next set ng words. We have yung 
bad. So, kunyari, ang sili na ganito, yung siling labuyo natin, um, it's bad. Okay? For people na hindi mahilig sa maanghang. Pero sa akin, game na game ako dyan kasi mahilig talaga ako sa maanghang. No? Pero sa taong hindi mahilig sa maanghang, pwede nga sabihin na uh, yung bird's eye chilies are bad. Okay? So, bird's eye chilies or yung Filipino, kung labu yung pinag-usapan, Filipino uh, bird's, eyes, bird's eye chilies are bad, ibig sabihin nun, uh, hindi, hindi mabuti para sa kanya or masama yun sa kanya. Siguro hindi siya sanay sa maanghang. Now, kapag may mas maanghang, okay, for example, itong uh, scotch bonnet, uh, we have something that is worse. Again, babalik tayo nun sa idea na comparative siya. Ibig sabihin, uh, pinagkukumpara mo itong scotch bonnet doon dun sa siling labuyo. Kasi sa Scoville heat units, mas mataas yung SHU ng scotch bonnet kaysa sa labuyo. So, ibig sabihin nun, we can say na scotch bonnets are worse. Worse kasi sa kanilang dalawa, mas malala siya. Okay? So, again, masama, mas masama. Now, doon na tayo sa pinakamasama. So, sabihin na natin itong uh, ghost pepper, siya naman yung worst. So, ghost peppers are the worst. Kasi ibig sabihin nun, sa lahat ng mga sili na yan, sa lahat ng mga sili, kahit hindi nakakasama yung mga, or hindi, kahit doon sa mga hindi nakalista or hindi nakaspecify, siya pa rin ang pinakamasama sa lahat. So, ibig sabihin nun, ghost peppers are the worst. Alright? Now, again, saan ang gagaling yung confusion? A lot of the time, galing din dun sa fact na yung worst can mean comparison between two things, so ano yung mas malala sa dalawa, or kung siya ay deterioration. So, kabalik tala ng improvement. Parang kapag lumala yung sitwasyon, ginagamit din natin yung worse. So, may, may sitwasyon na nangyari noon, ngayon mas malala na yung sitwasyon ngayon kaysa dati. For example, a sentence like this, sabi, I felt blank after working non-stop for three days. So, dahil... Uh, eto ay sinasabi mo kahit na hindi mo minention ang ibig sabihin mo ay mas malala yung nararamdaman mo ngayon kaysa noon you still use the word worse I felt worse after working non-stop for three days now anong common error dito? some people use the word worst okay now kailan mo gagamitin yung word na worst? ang worst or best yung superlative gagamitin mo lang siya without a previous statement or a previous sentence na nag explain ng mga pinagkukumparaan sa kanya, kung siya yung worst ever, okay, or best ever. Ibig sabihin, sa lahat ng mga bagay na yun sa history, siya yung pinaka sa lahat. Okay? So, we can't say na I felt worst than yesterday or I felt worst after working non-stop. Pero you could say I felt worse. Mas malalaki sa noon. No. Now, pwede mo sabihin na the worst I felt in my life or the worst situation I've ever been in, worst, pwede mo nang gamitin yon. Kasi yung sabihin yun ay pinaka sa lahat. But again, kung sinasabi mo lang na mas lumala yung sitwasyon mo, you use the word worst. Hindi pwede yung worst. Okay? Now, nandito na rin tayo sa topic ng ever. That is also a clue word kapag gagamitin natin yung superlative. Kasi pag sinabi ng best ever or worst ever, ibig sabihin, nasa, to, nasa tuktok na siya ng listahan. Siya na yung pinaka sa lahat. Okay? Now, the best way for us to uh, remember this then would be to understand na pag sinabi niyang worse, ang ibig sabihin nun may nawawala rin na than I did before. So, I felt worse than I did before after working non-stop for three days. Okay? So, huwag niyong pagpapalitin yung worse at saka worst. Worst kapag siya na yung pinaka sa lahat, worse kapag lumala lang. Okay? Now, again, quick quiz tayo. You're going to choose between good, better, best, bad, worse, and worst. And I'm going to give you the best answer for each sentence dito sa quiz na to after yung allotted time. Okay? So again, some of them may work. Arguably, pwede sila dun sa mga sentence na yun. Pero ang bibigay ko sa inyo would be yung best sa aking decision writing this quiz for you. Okay? So, again, ang maganda dyan, even if sabihin na natin you disagree with me on certain questions, pwede natin pag-usapan sa comment section. Okay? Pagpipilian nyo yung good, better, and best. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
Alright, so uh, simulan na natin. Siyempre, minang mida si Hailey, no? Sa lahat ng <laughs> sitwasyon. Hailey is my dog, by the way. And uh, based to sa karyalidad namin ngayon, kasi struggle niya ngayon yung allergies niya. So, Hailey gets really blank allergy spots when the temperature changes. So, ano yung nakukuha niya? Uh, she gets really bad allergy spots. Now, bakit ko pinili na gamitin yung bad? Kasi wala pa namang nauunang statement, wala pang pwede pagkumparahan. Sinasabi lang dito yung sitwasyon. Okay? So, dahil statement pa lang siya, wala pang comparison or improvement, dahil wala pang nami-mention una, we can use the word bad. Ngayon, bakit hindi good? Kasi wala namang good na allergy spots, no? Uh, dun ka na dun sa meaning ng word. Siyempre, kung allergy spots yan, at mukha naman dun sa context clue din ng mga susunod na sentence ay hindi siya masaya dun, siyempre, we choose the word bad, no? Next, I try to keep her from scratching them because that makes it blank. So, sinusubukan ko na pigilin, pigilan siya na kamutin yung allergy spots niya kasi it makes it blank or pinapalala Yeah, ito. So, dapat, ang sagot would be worse. Because that makes it worse. Next, warm baths are blank for Haley. So, ang um, mainit daw or mainit-init na panliligo ay naka, siguro, good for Haley. ba? Diba? Kasi hindi na siya bad. Like, yung allergies, iba na pinag-uusapan ngayon. Baths na ang topic. And nakakabuti siya kay Haley. Kasi makikita nyo again uli dun sa context clues ng susunod na sentence. Sabi, I think she likes it. So, kung likes it, ibig sabihin this is a positive thing. So, we are going to choose the word good. Okay. Next, I think she likes it because it makes her feel blank. So, anong sabi? Uh, mas nararamdaman niya daw na mas napapabuti siya or it makes her feel better. Okay? Okay, so next naman, the blank it's ever been was when she almost had to get ear surgery. Okay, so himayin natin sentence. Meron dito na word na ever. Ano nangyari doon pa, doon sa sentence? She almost had to get ear surgery. So mutik na siya na operan sa tenga. So ibig sabihin kung, kung kailangan siya operahan, manapabuti ba siya o hindi? Syempre, masama yung sitwasyon niya, no? At it's ever been So, ibig sabihin, ang pipiliin natin would be worst. The worst it's ever been was when she almost had to get ear surgery. Next, it's blank that Haley's a blank dog. Okay? Ito, medyo trick question to. Kasi some, sometimes, uh, ayaw natin gamitin yung same word for the same sentence, no? Pero, walang better way uh, to solve this or walang better word for this but this. It's good that Haley's a good dog. Okay? Kasi it's mabuti na mabait siyang aso. Kasi good can mean mabuti or mabait. Now, kung naisahan ko kayo dito at ang um, sagot nyo ay naging better, kasi sabi natin, Haley is better now, um, ingat kayo doon kasi ang sabi ko dito, dog. Okay? So, hindi naman siya salbaheng aso noon. <laughs> Uh, at bigla siyang bumait ngayon. Hindi yun ang pinag-uusapan. So, mabait siya ever since. Kaya natin pwede sabihin na Haley's a better dog. Okay? But, we could say na it's good that Haley's health, kung ganun, health is better. In that situation, pwede yung better. Pero dahil Haley's a blank dog ang pinag-uusapan, ibig sabihin, ang best answer pa rin would be good. Okay? It's good that Haley's a good dog. Okay? Now, yun yung explanation kung bakit hindi siya better. Next, um, she lets the vet examine her as long as I stay with her. She's the blank dog ever. So, again, with the word ever, ibig sabihin siya ang pinaka magaling or mabait or pinaka mahal kong aso ever. So, this will be best. She's the best dog ever. Okay? So, again, ang answer natin, bad, worse, good, better, worst, good, good, best. Okay? Now, I hope na after this, you try to write more sentences uh, sa sarili ninyo. Uh, mag, simula kayo mag-journal. Those are good ways for you to encounter words like this in the wild, no? At saka kung paano mo siya gagamitin talaga kung ikaw yung susulat ng sentence from scratch. 
para ma-practice nyo siya at hindi siya makalimutan. Okay? If you want more exercises, I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, don't, if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Laika Maravilla on Instagram and at Team Laika din on Instagram. Sa quick quiz natin, pinapost ko yun sa Instagram stories uh, so you can answer along with the rest of the team. I would love to see kung nag improve kayo doon. And if you have a TikTok account, you can follow me. I'm on TikTok at Team Laika for the English and Math Lessons at, at Laika Maravilla naman para dun sa mga motivational videos, advice, at iba pang personal content. Okay? See you guys online. Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and not mag-exam din sila. That way, salami tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe na, hit that bell. Madami pa tayong pag-uusapan soon. I would hate for you to miss those. At gaya na lagi natin sinasabi sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja-adja, kaya nga yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.